In March, the National Young Farmers Coalition brought over 100 farmer leaders from across the country to DC for the largest Young Farmers fly-in in history. We shared our stories in the halls of power with the aim of building a 2023 farm bill that serves the new generation. Hi, my name is uh, David Wilkerson Lindsay. I'm coming from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm here to fight for land access. We need more agricultural land for uh, black, indigenous, and people of color to get on the land, to farm it in an ecologically restorative way so that we can actually have a future for the rest of us to live on this planet. So. My name is Rocky Gelford I'm from the city of San Antonio. I'm a land advocacy fellow, and I'm just so excited for this experience. A lot of training, a lot of support that we've gotten from the National Young Farmers. I'm Tiana Kennedy. I'm here from Star Out Farm in the 607 CSA, and I'm lobbying for land access for young farmers and BIPOC farmers. We held a press conference at the Capitol building, trained and resourced farmer leaders, and led 159 legislative meetings. We built power. We celebrated. We felt the strength of our movement. Over 10,000 young and BIPOC farmers took our national survey and told us about the barriers standing in the way of building successful farming careers. The top challenge young farmers face, land access. Young farmers need land access now, and they need farm policy that prioritizes climate action, USDA access and accountability, farmer mental health, and racial equity. We need land, our farmers need land, we need land access, we need land team, we need it now, we need it ASAP. We are talking to Congress, senators, our officials, our staff, to let them know. Our farmers, we need land, we need secure land for our future. We need a million acres for our future farmers so we can grow the food to feed you all, feed our country, feed the whole world. My name's Sarah Bell. I live in Adamsville, Alabama. I farm in downtown Birmingham, Alabama at a teaching farm. And I also farm a rice plot in Lowndes County in the Black Belt. Um, I am a land fellow because I work with so many young kids and young adults that we're teaching these farming skills to, and I want to make sure that they have a prosperous career in front of them, that they can see their community thriving as farmers, that they can see a future for themselves as a farmer. My name is Mariel Gardner. I'm a Land Access Fellow with the National Young Farmers Coalition. After the erasure of several black neighborhoods in Louisville and seeing gentrification strangle Chicago, Nashville, and Detroit, I knew if I didn't buy the land around me, someone unconcerned with my right to remain, someone unconcerned with my right to remain would cause my displacement. I became a land access fellow to demand reparation for the past and the present in order to preserve our existence in the future. There's no room for error or delay because there is no safety net for us. Congress must understand that we are not here for photo ops. We are here to express our concerns and we expect those concerns to be addressed through legislation. Um, The reason why this farm bill is so important and why access to land is important is because when you have land, you have power. When you have land, you can control the narrative. Without land, we, we can't feed each other. Land is power. Land is generous. Land is vulnerable. Land is healing. Land is home. We have many tools for organizing in our communities outside of this space. And what we're here to do is to show up on the hill and to tell our individual stories on behalf of this collective, this movement that we're building. And we're going to be an irrefutable voice that these members of Congress have to pay attention to. And even as we advocate for land access now, 
We acknowledge this movement exists in this tension and collaboration for land back as well as land access for this next generation because it all is a means to realize justice in this era where the harms of colonialism and white supremacy persist. And I always think about like the opening of our constitution, right, is, you know, in order to, part, to form a more perfect union. And in order to actually live that, we have to keep working towards what does that more perfect look like? Because we have to strive for it to always change and improve. We are calling on Congress to make a historic investment in the 2023 Farm Bill that will result in the equitable transition of one million acres of farmland to the next generation. We just finished our meeting with Senator Murphy and it went really well. Uh, we uh, just spoke a bunch about our uh, different farms and our different stories, um, just the importance of this transferring of one million um, acres to farmers like myself and a uh, whole new generation of farmers who are coming up. So just really excited about being here and continue to just pass the good message around and seeing these changes for the new farm. Do you want to join us in calling for one million acres for the future? Join our movement today by texting LAND to 40649.